when I was a little kid, um, my sister told me that if I was ever going to be an actor, that I would have to learn to cry. So, <laughs> so I threw in the towel. I mean, I did because I thought to myself, who the hell would want to cry for a living, you know? I wanted to be happy. And then I got older and realized we lived in a world where people think happiness is nothing but a journey, you know, never a destination. And that we constantly remind ourselves over and over that this struggle is just what it means to be human to be caught in this sort of never-ending freefall. Apparently, that is what happiness is, or what they call the pursuit of. And what I am now coming to learn is, is yes, it is definitely a pursuit. Interestingly enough, you have to learn all of this by being alone get to spend time with yourself come to know to who you are you get to chat with the little voice inside your head but what's dangerous is when the voice goes quiet you go from being alone to being lonely and that's when the real pursuit begins the pursuit is searching for your voice of reason not happiness. And when we begin our search, we tend to be nostalgic head back in time to our inner roots, maybe a place we used to call home. And we remember that kid inside of us who taught us to always be happy, to never let our tears become real. 